बोली बोगी इट्स लाइक यू प्रसेस्ड बाय द डेवल समटाइम्स आई नो यू सेड शी इज गोना बी ट्रबल शी इज गोना बी ट्रबल फॉर द टीम यू नो हु आर यू मी डोंट यू रिमेंबर आई हायर्ड यू फॉर दिस फर्म यू आर डेड वेल टेक्निकली well literally but i exist we used to go to work and stay there till the job was done i barely knew my kids names for god's sake those were great days we knew what to expect you put the work into the hopper and the reward came out the other end now can't even smoke they learn something and i learn something i know funny daddy old school But watching the way it works now, you know, I got to admit it's better. It's really better. You know, you guys really did a job with a minimum of roses, you know? And um you kept your integrity. How tenuous our hold on normal life. One heartbeat, everything is fine. The next heartbeat of the next, and our world has changed beyond recognition, turned upside down, shattered. Would you be prepared for such an eventuality, so unexpected and devastating? Granted, there's little we can do to stop bad things from happening, but there is something we can do to mitigate its impact. And that something is to make decisions about medical intervention long before the need arises. You know, I just couldn't imagine this happening. No way, no how. What I did imagine was we'd be together always, you know, get old together and and end our days peacefully, effortlessly without trauma, you know, to us or to to anyone. Naive, huh? Unrealistic. Oh, foolish. Oh, there's no way I can put into words how hard this is. And, and if if we took her off life support, she could die peacefully. now yes she could you know i think that's what ellie would have wanted at least that's what i got from her the few times we talked about it and that's that, that's what i feel look this is something you really ought to talk about as a family and i'm going to leave you alone to do that for a while and i'll check back in with you in a little bit thanks i'm sorry I I never expected to be having this conversation. To have to make this kind of decision when we have to. I know we don't all agree on everything. A difficult choice. Choosing who will make your medical treatment decisions for you when you're incapable of making them yourselves. And before making this vital choice, what standards should you use before selecting such a person? Now that's what this little play was about. So what questions might it suggest to you? Today we'll visit two shows. The annual Apple Blossom Antique Car Show in Winchester, Virginia, and the annual Fall Meet in Hershey, Pennsylvania. We'll walk the show fields, explore the flea markets and car corrals, and also give you some rare glimpses behind the scenes where hundreds of dedicated volunteers do the preparations, the organizing, and the hard work that makes these events possible. You'll meet some of the show organizers, the judges, volunteers, and vendors, and many collectors like yourself. And how did it all start? Well, we asked someone who was there at the inception. None of us who knew him will ever forget him. His long life dedicated to his family, his friends, and his beloved hobby George Norton We had been having a a fall meet in Devon Pennsylvania and as the late great George Norton said we had a lot of fun And that's our thought as we come to the end of our show as always let us know what you think and what you would like to see in future videos because your comments and letters are very important to us As we roll the credits thanking our many contributors and supporters, take another look at the style, the class, 
and the beauty of the cars that we have seen. Thank you, and we'll see you soon in our next video. For J.C. Taylor in Driving Through Time, I am David Harshide. Stick with me for a few minutes, and I'll describe what you'll be asked to do as a congressional contact and what we'll do to keep you up to date on the issues. Effective lobbying is easier than you think. Ask for the staff person who handles the issue you're calling about. Turner's mind and spirit claimed this uncharted territory as his own. It made of him a man not quite at ease in his own time and place. And it made his art a turning point, a redirection of the history of painting. Queen Victoria ascended the British throne and knighted certain respected artists. Joseph Mallard William Turner might have been Sir Joseph had he only conformed more consistently to contemporary standards and tastes. Instead, he remained Turner, member of the Royal Academy, designer of popular prints, a painter who received his share of commission. But puzzling and unpredictable. But I see I see